This episode is sponsored by Honey Badger. In addition to Honey Badger's great error monitoring service, they also have an uptime monitoring for web developers. And Honey Badger has recently shipped an update that allows for public status pages that can help communicate outages to your customers. In addition to your uptime monitoring, Honey Badger now monitors your SSL certificates. And Honey Badger now has actions which will allow you to do bulk updates to all your errors, or you can set defaults for incoming errors. I'm a longtime user of Bootstrap and I've been using it for many years. However, Tailwind CSS has become very popular in recent years. And I can see why, because it is a utility first framework where you're basically given all of the different CSS classes that you need in order to make your website or application the way you want it to look without having to resort to making your own CSS. And that's pretty intriguing, but we do lose the component approach that we got with Bootstrap. However, in this episode, we are going to have a look at creating a basic web layout like this that looks pretty nice. However, we're also going to take a different approach and add a library on top of Tailwind CSS to make it look a bit nicer, as well as give us different options like having themes built right into it. And the nice thing about this is that we're also going to build in whenever we refresh the page that the theme would persist. And the library that we're going to look at is going to take more of a component-based approach to the Tailwind CSS, whereas instead of having many classes, we have boilerplate classes built for us, but they do adhere to certain practices where we can then just change the theme and the site looks completely different. And we're going to be doing all of this with a fresh Rails 7 application. We are going to use Prop Shaft, which doesn't really matter in this particular case. Sprockets would work fine. We're also going to be using ES Build and the CSS bundling with Tailwind. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.